What's going on guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to clean the power valves and the clutches on my sled. So yeah. And for uh, another video, stay tuned. We got some parts for the truck. I showed my address by accident. So what's in here, um, if you guys know on the 20s, well, pretty much all the super duties and even a lot of the half tons, like you pull out the four wheel drive switch, you can turn it for a four wheel drive. If you just pull out on it, it locks the rear end. But the rear end kicks out at 25 or 20 miles an hour. I can't remember. That is a kit to delete that, to override it. So that means I can run my truck as fast as I want with it locked, which means some mad fucking burnouts and drifts. So stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to install that this weekend. Shouldn't be too hard. It's just a literally like a wire and plug, pretty much. Uh, looks like, I don't know what these are. I don't know if these came with the kit or not, because I bought this from the guy. I bought my truck from he actually had it laying around he found it and I bought it and he sent it to me but literally all it is is that so hopefully it should be pretty simple so stay tuned for that but let's get to pulling these power valves apart and seeing how they look I don't know if they've ever been cleaned or not the sled's only got 500 miles on it so realistically I don't know if it really needs to be cleaned but we're gonna check it anyway before before the season and I got new plugs and we're gonna clean both clutches and I gotta turn that belt around because Either it was on backwards and I put it back on the same way because I thought I put it on the same way I took it off or I put it back on backwards. So I'm going to flip it around while I pull it off when I clean clutches anyway. So let's get to it. Alright, so we got... This off. I was just making sure this lines and st uh, this lines and stuff were good on here. <clears throat> None of them were stripped or nothing. It looked a little bit of rust on them, but nothing serious. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's any to. There's, there's a little bit of wear. Unless that's just dirt. No, that's just dirt. Never mind. So splines look good. This clutch is pretty dirty. This isn't too bad in here. It's a little bit. That definitely needs to be clean. I'm not. I'm taking this one off. I don't have a clutch puller, so I watched on uh, another video a guy just clean his on here. Basically, just spray it with brake cleaner and wipe it down the best you can. I'm gonna do the same with that one. I took that one off because it was just easier. And then I'm gonna wipe this down a little bit, which I can't tell. This like got a little bit of grease on it. Plus, it just makes it a little bit easier to to do the power valve. So we're gonna clean these super quick. I'm gonna get the brake cleaner and some paper towel and try to clean these the best I can quick. And and then we'll we'll change the plugs and start with these. Basically what you want to do is while you're using brake cleaner, you want to get the oily substance because this actually has a little bit spit. Basically you want to get all that off and that's why you use brake cleaner. Sorry, it's smoky, just vape. Um, I'm not going to worry about this stuff too much. I'm going to just spray it down the best I can, wipe some things the best I can. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about this. I will take it apart uh, after this season and clean it super well once I know a little more about it. I recommend you take your tether off so when you spin this over to clean it, you don't end up starting it with your fingers in there and you know, take your finger off. So, yeah, because you don't want any oily substance or anything on there, belt dust, because that can create belt slip and then you just smoke a belt and you blow belts. Um, also, another good thing to do is wash your belts in like soapy water before the season and make sure your belts are clean so you don't, you don't have that belt slip. I'm not going to do that because this is a brand new belt. This I think this belt's only been on for a little bit, if at all. Um, and I got two new ones, well, like one new one here and one used one. So I think this outside one's a used one. Yeah, so that one's a new one. This is the used one here. So this is just, these are spares. This one's brand new. So I'm not gonna do that because obviously they're new, but um, 
if you got used belts, I recommend cleaning your belts to save on your belt wear and save on, you know, possibly blowing a belt on a trail. So uh, I'm gonna set the camera up while we're gonna clean this one quick and then we can start on the plugs and the power valves. are clean that one and then that one the reason you want to use brake cleaners the brake cleaner dries it does not leave leftover oils and it takes out the oil obviously because they're for brakes you don't want oil in your brakes so let's we'll start pulling plugs out and pull those out hard
trick to this. I seen this while watching this online. Put four pennies in the one there. So it rolled over there. Basically so that can't fall back down. We got the power valves back in. Uh, we just had to take use two people and work the spring on it. It was a pain in the ass. So I actually put the sled back together and you just literally put it back together. Same way you took it apart. Really easy. Um, yeah, basically the hardest part is doing the spring, but you clean them, put them all back together. Make sure you put the, the Raven, whatever it is, the thing back in the right way where it says top, make sure it's towards the top, throw it back together and you're good to go and run straight and we're all ready to rip guys we're ready for the snow so hit that bell notification we got some really cool videos coming up uh within the next few days here and then as soon as we get some damn snow there'll be some riding videos on this so like comment subscribe hit that bell, bell notification and we'll see you guys next time